Father Michel also spoke about how he came across the Gulen Movement schools while serving in Indonesia in Zamboanga. He indicated that the region is not safe, but when he came across the Filipino Turkish School of Tolerance, he was surprised to see such an organization in a place where tolerance is not very common. The Reverend said in this particular school, 50% of the students are Muslim, 50% are Christian, and teachers are also from diversified backgrounds. Filipino Turkish Tolerance School was established in 1997. It's a non-sectarian school, means to say we do not teach religion. It has an equal distance to all religions and all people here in Zambonga are welcome to study in our school. So the curriculum here we have in Filipino Turkish Tolerance School is an integrated curriculum of uh, Turkey and the Philippines. But our school, you know, as a Filipino Turkish Tolerance School, we embrace all. the good education we are hiring teachers from Turkey especially math science and uh, computer teachers majority of the you know the teachers we have from our own product this is very very important we don't we are not running after you know uh, quantity we are running after quality quality education We know that school is the second home of our children. So we were looking for a good school where they can uh, bring whatever we taught them at home. For me, this school provides a good education to students. It only doesn't give good education, but it also has a community service. This school is uh like giving us or helping us as a parents uh, to become our kids, to become a responsible uh, uh, person someday. Because I know that this school could give my son the best education that he is dreaming of. Now he is in college and he is granted a scholarship by the school and he is now in Turkey. I saw a slogan there, na bridging the gap. So I said, "Probayo man na mi anak, although na sabi yon kay mga friends tabla ko niyo kay manada Muslim. Pero I believe na el FTTS ay pwede ayuda man bridge el gap between the Muslim and the Christians. But the solution, actually the formula here." Our differences did not actually differ us, but our differences uh, made us stronger and united. That was the main idea that was inculcated in our mind as an alumni of this school. Okay, Filipino Turkish Torah School is undeniably not only part of my history, but also a part of my whole being as well. As a teacher, I want to be a part or give back what the school has given me. For four years, of my stay here in school, I was a dormitory student. So my classmates, with my classmates, we became brothers. So for four years, we were in dorm, we were laughing together, we had good times, we had great times. The brotherhood we had, the things we've shared with each other, I guess that's one of the best experiences I had in my life. Uh, in the Feast of the Sacrifice, Idil Adha, um, every time there is the feast, uh, the Tur Filipino Turkish Tolerance uh, School slaughters many, many cows and they uh, uh, give uh, the blessings not only to Muslims but also uh, 
to Christians. Uh, this has been going on for maybe 9, 10, 10 years already. So from that time on, there was now open communication, smiling to each other. So I think that's one big instance I observed that the school has done to bridge the gap between the Muslims and the non-Muslims in our community. You know, this is very heavy job. You know, educating people, this is not so easy job. Very heavy job, so our effort is not really enough. We have to really work together. Their presence here in Sambuanga contributes a lot to basically uh, maybe peace building and uh, uh, in the understanding uh, of the two great religions, which is, uh, of course, uh, Islam and uh, Christianity. So, I believe, yeah, the school changed the perception uh, of the people here in Zambanga. Once we had the different cultures, different religions together here in a harmony, this showed that people can really come together and share things together. Of course, we have to really do our part because this life is very, very meaningful when we really serve uh, for the people. Serving people you know, without expecting something in return is very, very important values that we, that we need to instill to the heart of people. Now, not only you say Filipino, Turkish tolerance high school, not only through tolerance, but maybe also through understanding each other's culture, uh, religion and belief. People can walk together as long as they will not march on the feet of one another. So we believe Tolerance School really will contribute a lot to the community and will also show that people can come together and they can walk together without harming one another.